Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do a perfect blood splatter on the wall and um, make it go behind whoever your actor is. So what I did was I just masked out and keyframed the mask. This is what it's going to end up looking like. So before I do this tutorial, I want to say that my for some reason my mouse isn't showing up in the recorder. So yeah, sorry about that, but I'll just try to explain what I'm doing better. Alright, so let's go um, into a new composition. Put your stuff in there. So I already added in the blood. Um, if you don't know how to do that, I don't, like, you just put it, it's just a video. You should know how to do that. Alright. So what we're going to have to do is actually put, select that, get a mask. Um, now just draw, like, alright, do this. I'm doing that because so I can like make it so blood doesn't go all over the shelf. And um, make sure that well, I don't know why this has three masks. All right, so make sure that it um it's on add. And then we're gonna make a new mask going around your actor. Make sure your blood is selected when you do this. And this mask actually doesn't need to be that complex. It can actually be pretty simple. And it still works fine. And since I'm doing this as a headshot, I don't need to really mask out the bottom of um, me. So, I, I mean, if you have like a giant blood splatter that's like the size of your whole body, You'll have to mask out like your whole body, but I don't have to because it's only up here. And then you're going to put this mask that you just did on sub subtract. So, as you can see, it's already kind of behind me. But now what we're going to do is we're actually going to keyframe this mask. If you don't know what that is, it's pretty much animating and kind of. So open up the mask, press transform, then press this button on the left of path. And then it'll set a keyframe, and then we go to the right, or we go like five frames to the right. Move the keyframe to fit yourself again. <laughs> Look at my face. All right. Um. That's actually pretty good. We're gonna go another five frames or so. And readjust the mask. Alright, and just keep doing this until your person is completely out of the way of the blood. So... I mean, make sure that your mask isn't, like, too off. Like, I see I'm not w really working hard to make this very accurate. But if you're doing something important, you probably should, but... Alright. Whoa. Um. Okay. That's actually, alright, I'm out of the way of the blood, so that's pretty much all the keyframing I have to do. Um, so let's just see what this looks like. Alright, so we're actually going to watch it in this so it doesn't show the mask. Let's see, alright, it should play in a second. Now, as you can see, I actually, I messed it up a little bit because I actually ad added a new part of the mask. Um, let me just try to see if I can find it. Alright, 
Yeah, right there. See how it's like covering my face? Uh, yeah, I messed that up. But uh, you probably won't have to do that. You probably won't end up messing it up. Because I don't even know how I did that. Let's see. Oh yeah, I remember I accidentally added a new point. Alright, so now uh, all we have to do is color correct this. Mine's actually pretty good. But I'll just show you how to anyway if you don't know how to. So go down to the right to effects. Or left, sorry, bottom left. And it, well, okay, so your layout might be different than mine. What I did was, when, when you press new, um, instead of pressing just start new comp composition or whatever, or start compositing, you should do start editing. That's what I do at least. And But you'll still have these same windows, but they'll just be in different places. So press effects, go to color correction, and then go to color temperature. That's what I usually use. Apply it to the, the blood uh, layer. And then go over to controls in the in this panel. And then press the weird triangle thing next to color temperature. And then just slide this around and see what fits best. As you can see at the top of right, it's changing how the blood looks. And that actually looks like it would fit in. Yeah, so let's watch. This should be the finish there. All I have to do is add in a gunshot, but I'm not going to do that right now. Alright, so as you can see, it's actually pretty good. All we need to do is fix up some of the masks and stuff, but... <laughs> whoa. <laughs> I'm not going to waste your time with that. Because you already probably know how to do that, because I just showed you. Unless you already knew anyway. But, yeah, so thanks for watching. Uh, please like the video if this helped you at all. If it didn't help you, then just dislike it. Or subscribe also if it helped you. To see more videos like this. But anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.